Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 83. In this episode, I'm gonna share with you more than 30 new features in Google Apps. So without further ado, let's jump in. Starting with YouTube, the first change I noticed is the dynamic change in the ambient mode colors based on what's currently playing in the video. Previously, I think it was using a static color all the time based on the video thumbnail, but now it keeps it changing based on the content. So if you take a look here, you will see shades of blue and purple, and then it will change into gray because the background is now gray. Can you, see, you can see it here at the bottom, and then it will change back again to blue and purple. So it will keep changing based on what's currently playing on the screen, and this is the first time to see this change. Another new feature when the video auto plays on your home feed for some time, like four or five seconds, the comments section will automatically expand. So let me show you an example here. So as you see, the comments expanded automatically, so you can tap on it and then it will play the video and take you right away to the comments section. And lastly, the search results are now classified into different sections. So for example, I searched for the S24 Ultra. I will first see the normal search results, but when I keep scrolling, that's when I will see the sections I'm talking about. The first one is called People Also Watched, and this one will include all the videos that has the small text that says People Also Watched This Video. You will see multiple ones here under this section, and when you keep scrolling, you will find another one called For You, and then you can expand to show more, and there is a third one called previously watched that can also be expanded using the show more button and then the normal search results will come after. Next, YouTube music. The first change is a new chip that appears at the top of your home page called new recommendations. Tapping on it will simply update your home feed with the new suggestions waiting for you. On top of this, I started to see some new sections that I've never seen before like the forgotten favorites which you can scroll left and right then we have another one called heard in shorts so it seems like the shorts you play in the normal youtube app and in youtube music under samples all the songs playing in these shorts will be surfaced in this section and you can play all of them with the press of a button next google photos the first change is the addition of the photo unblur feature to the pixel 6 models including the 6a and that feature was previously exclusive to the Pixel 7 models and later, but now when I edit this photo and then jump to tools, I can see the unblur option that does exactly the same thing. The second change, when you open any of the photos and then swipe up, you will see a new section called effects. This one will show you some of the effects you normally get under the suggestions tab when you edit any of the photos. And when you tap on it, it will automatically apply this effect and take you right away to the editing page, like in this case. Also keep in mind that the suggested effects change based on the photo. So when it detects a human, it will give you things like portrait, color pop, black and white portrait. But when you open something else, you will get other options like dynamic, enhance, cool, and warm. Change number three is the backup status now appears briefly under the Google Photos logo. So let me show you an example. So I have the auto backup turned on and I'm going to take multiple photos, then open the app. It says here backup paused because I have the Wi-Fi turned off and then it will disappear after a few seconds. Next, Google Messages. And the only change I'm going to show you here is the redesigned background for the conversation. Now it matches your device theme, plus you have these waves in the background that you can see over here. Let me also show you the same change in a different color. This is how it looks in brown, but this new change only applies to the RCS conversations. So when you open a normal text conversation, as you see here, it has a plain background. Next, Google Maps. The first change is under the Explore tab and we got this new iconic places carousel which will show you the most well-known landmarks in the area that you are currently viewing on the map. So let me try to view a different area and then swipe up again. As you see, I'm getting totally different landmarks. The second change is under the app settings and then navigation settings. When you scroll all the way down, you will see a new toggle called Bluetooth Tunnel Beacons. It says here, scan for Bluetooth tunnel beacons to improve accuracy in tunnels. So if the tunnels are equipped with these devices, 
that option will definitely improve the navigation accuracy. Change number three, when you view a restaurant in Google Maps and then scroll through the photos, it will try to pick the dish names from the comments and put it for you in a card like in this case, but it doesn't appear with each and every photo. Sometimes it appears, sometimes it doesn't. And lastly, when you use Google Maps on Android Auto to navigate to a certain location, once you arrive, you will see this new toggle popping on the screen called Save Parking. When you turn on the switch, it will save the parking location to Google Maps so you can use your phone to get back to your car, which is a very neat feature. Next, Google Contacts. And it got a couple of small tweaks. When you open any of the contacts and then tap the ellipses, you will see a redesigned menu with separators that we didn't have before. And some of the options we used to have here are now moved to the bottom, like block numbers and route to voicemail. Next, Google Chrome. The first change here is the addition of clear browsing data option directly to the ellipses menu so you don't need to go to your settings. Not only this, but when you tap on it, it will show you a floating card with the ability to choose the time frame. Then it will tell you what kind of data is going to delete and you have the clear data button over here. If you want more options, you can tap on this one and it will take you to the settings page so you can modify your choices before taking the action. The second change in some cases when I search for a specific location like this place, for example, I get some shortcuts here at the top, either to call, get the directions or see the reviews. It's a very nice feature, but unfortunately it doesn't work with each and every location I tried it with. The third change is the reappearance of Chrome's own text to speech feature. We used to have it a very long time ago and then it disappeared and it made a comeback again. So this feature will allow you to read certain parts of any article by highlighting the text, then tap the ellipses, then read aloud. It doesn't sound as natural as Google Assistant read aloud feature, but it gives you the flexibility to select certain parts of the article instead of reading the whole thing. Moving to the search, and now I see a redesigned card when I search for specific locations. So let's take Dubai Frame as an example. Now I can see the ticket price, the reviews, and an expandable window for the location. From here, you can also jump right away to Google Maps, either to view the directions or open the location and both of them will take you to the app. Before ending this video, let me show you some pixel exclusive changes and I will start with the system wide search as it got some new additions. Number one is the ability to search for the quick setting styles and interact with them directly from here. It works with the internet, the Bluetooth, the hotspot, but it doesn't support the third party tiles. The second change is the ability to access the Google password manager. And finally, when you search for the weather, it will show you the weather info with the ability to see the full forecast. And lastly, now you have the ability to modify the photos and videos access under the app settings. So when you go to the info page and then permissions, then photos and videos, and when you put it on ask every time, you will see this new edit button. Tapping on it will allow you to modify the photos that this app currently has access to. So for example, when I open Instagram, tap the plus button, these are the photos it has access to, but if I want to modify this later, I can do this and it will add the extra photos for me. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are all the new features I wanted to show you in Google Apps. Please reach me out on social media if you spotted any new change to include in my future episodes. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.